I'm Mike Belsito, co-founder of eFuneral. And today I'm gonna to talk for a few minutes about what you can do to plan a funeral service in Cleveland or any neighborhood. I say Cleveland because I'm actually from the Cleveland area, from Northeast Ohio, and I've grown up here all my life. So for me, that's the area that I think about when I think about ultimately planning a funeral service for me or for a loved one. Uh, but for you, of course, that could be anywhere. And actually the advice that I'm going to give could apply to really any location, not just Cleveland. But the first piece of advice I wanna offer is to take your time. Now, I realize that this isn't always an option. Sometimes uh, death happens so suddenly that there's very little time to plan that specific funeral service. But I think that speaks to the importance of planning ahead, planning in advance. And it doesn't mean necessarily that you have to pay, but it is great idea to plan in advance. So this way, when an unexpected death does happen, if it does happen, uh, you actually have gone through the planning already. And one of the reasons why it's important to plan ahead rather than to wait to the very last minute is because you're able to make certain decisions with perhaps your mind instead of just purely emotion. Uh, certainly funeral planning can always be emotional no matter what time, but if it's planned in advance, you can consider multiple factors, whichever factors are most important to you, and it's not a rushed decision. So that's why it's always a great idea to plan as much in advance as possible. The other thing that you can do is to ask around, specifically ask your friends and family what their experiences have been working with specific funeral providers. Now, I know that this isn't a topic that naturally comes up all the time with your friends or with your family, but what you're able to do is find out information from them and they know you. They're going to give you information that is not canned. Uh, they're going to be brutally honest uh, if, that's what it, if that's what is needed. They're also going to share information that's positive with you um, if that was the case as well. So be sure to ask friends, ask family what their experiences have been Ask them to be completely honest with you, and you might be surprised the information that they're actually willing to share with you. Uh, and after all, who better than your friends and family uh, in terms of who you can trust for information like this? The next thing you should do is to know your rights. Uh, not a lot of people know, but the Federal Trade Commission actually regulates the funeral services industry, and they do so to try to protect the consumer. They want to make sure that the consumer knows that they have specific rights when planning funeral services. What are those rights specifically? Well, you can check through our resources section online at efuneral.com slash resources. We actually have a few blog posts, including what is the funeral rule. But essentially, uh, as a consumer, you have a right to walk into a funeral home and ask for pricing related to their services. In fact, anytime you talk with a funeral director about services at the funeral home, they should be providing you with what's called a general price list right away. General price list lists out specific prices for the services that that specific funeral home offers. And again, if you go online to efuneral.com slash resources and read the article on the funeral rule, there's more information that it will give you uh, in terms of the type of information you can expect on a general price list. But knowing that you have the right to walk into a funeral home and ask about pricing information I think that's important because you should know that you have the power essentially to have that information for any funeral home you'd like. Certainly eFuneral.com helps you get specific quotes from funeral providers as well. Um, but again, you have that right. So it's important to know your rights uh, when it comes to planning funeral services. And finally, it's to consider all factors. Now, just because one funeral home is the cheapest in the neighborhood doesn't necessarily make them the best. But at the same time, just because a funeral home is the most expensive, um, that certainly doesn't make them the best or worst either. So what you want to find out is which funeral home works best for you. And there's a number of factors that you can take into consideration and you should take in, into consideration all of those factors, not just one factor. Uh, including whether or not the funeral director you would work with fits the personality of your family. Uh, that could be an important factor as well. So when you're going through and choosing a funeral services provider, take into consideration multiple factors, pricing, service quality, the funeral director's personality, 
uh, that specific funeral home's location. Take into account everything before you make a decision. For more information, uh, more resources that you can use, again, be sure to visit efuneral.com slash resources or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash efuneralresources.